Hello my friends, it's another short video from me, Steve England. What a glorious day. So um, I've been in isolation all day again today as directed to. And um, I'm having a quick run with my puppy Teddy to give him a quick 10 minute run. And I've just stumbled across something really interesting. And I thought I'd film it for you guys as one of my one a day. And uh, I'll turn the camera around guys. See if you can recognize this. Any of you guys recognize this shrub here? Let's go closer. I go up to the leaves. Okay, this is wild dog rose. And this is a plant that grows in the hedgerows and it grows everywhere. But what I really want to talk about, guys, is this. There, you see that lump on there? There. Now, normally in the summer, these are bright red. It's like there's a piece of red cotton wool, all fluffy, stuck to the stems. Have you ever seen those and wonder what they are? Well, what they are, guys, these are ghouls, G-A-L-L-S. And this is the ghoul from a microscopic wasp called a Robinson's Pincushion wasp. If I turn the camera back round, and if I pinch this one off, if I can, without getting thorned. There you go, guys. And that's it there. Let's see if I can get a close-up. Let's see what's going on inside. Right, let's have a look. Let's crunch them open. I'm just going to... There we go. We'll just bite it open inside. What can we see? There you go, just there. See those little white bits, guys? This is where the larvae, this one's empty. But inside of here would have been about 20 wasp maggots or larvae, grubs, call them what you like. So they use the dog rose as a nursery. And what happens, guys, with a gall is when the wasps inject their egg into the stems it causes a mutation it alters the plant dna and then it mutates into instead of growing to be a bud like that it mutates to grow into a gall as a basically a nursery and inside of here would have been lots and lots of eggs and they'll remain in there for a short while and then they'll hatch and then off they go flying so there you go. Next time you see like a red fluffy blob stuck on the roses stems, you'll see them in the hedgerows. You might even have these in your gardens, guys. It's worth checking them out and have a look. And then open them up and have a look inside. See if you can see all the little wasps. The Robinson's Pincushion Wasp on dog roses. Stay safe, guys.